Hi there, today we've had a really interesting job arrive. Uh, it's a 1933 Morgan three-wheeler radiator shell. What makes it really, really interesting is this has been made by one of our customers. Let's take a look at it because it is an absolute work of art. This has all been made from new. There's nothing on this radiator shell that is on. It's all been made by hand. Customers even done a really good job of polishing it. This is what they call a cord radiator because the actual radiator core is part of the main body. So that honeycomb, it's all been soldered in there. What a fantastic piece of work that is. As usual, the first thing we do is we take a picture of the job that comes in, we then list it all out and put it in, we print the pictures off and that goes with the job into the workshop. Now we're in the polishing shop. Because the customer's done such a good job of polishing this, we just need to really give it a good check over. So what we're doing here is we're using a really soft mop to go over it. This is what we call colouring up and when this is complete we'll be able to see any defects that might need correcting putting on some polishing compound polishing the sides now he's had to change to a different type of mop this is what's called an airflow mop and it's strictly for expert polishers because although it works very well and it's very effective it's also very snatchy and grabby and it wants to grab the, the workpiece and pull you into the machine with it. If you like what we do please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and if you hit the notification bell you'll be informed when we release a new video. So we've found a mark that won't mop out, so we've got to use the DA sander to get that out. Got to make sure that every last bit of that mark's out before we can mop it up. And there we go, polishing that back up. Now we're going back to small colour mop again and just a final going over just to make sure it's right. Now even though we've gone over it we need to now wipe it down because any, any polishing composition can leave sort of greasy marks on it and you can't actually see if there's any marks so we've got to give it a good wipe down and even at this stage you can sometimes find a little scratch a little mark that just needs touching out again so it's check it double check it because we need this to be absolutely perfect before it goes into the plating shop and there we are ready for plating The first thing we've got to do is wire this rad shell up so that we can pass an electrical current through it. Once that's done, it's into the cleaner. Now this is a hot soapy cleaner, just to make sure that we've got every little trace of grease and dirt, any polish and compositions off. Even though it's been wiped down, it's going to get wiped down again can't skimp cleaning at this stage. Now we go into the electric cleaner. Now what happens in here is we pass a current through it and that blasts any oxides off the surface. So there we go bubbling away 
and that gives you what's called an active surface that will accept the plate in nicely and it will bond to it absolutely perfectly. After it's out the cleaner it gets swilled, it gets swilled again. And swilled again. And it gets dipped in a dilute acid solution to ensure all of the soap is off it. And then one final swill. Now it's ready to go into the nickel tank. It's going to cook away in there for a while. Now all the time the nickel is being deposited. After an hour or so it's going to come out. There we go, you can see how bright and beautiful that nickel deposit is. So now we're getting swilled again. Because this is for a nickel finish, we're not going to chrome it. This radiator shell is finished and ready for final inspection. When we inspect it we have to rub it down with some cleaner and just give it a wipe over. This is just to remove the water marks from the water that's dried on it so we can see that it's absolutely spot on ready for the customer and there's no defects. Now we've got this Morgan Rad Shell all finished and ready for the customer and what a beautiful piece of engineering it is. It's a really nice thing to look at and it's going to go on a Morgan that looks like this. I'm sure he'll be more than pleased with it. It is a proper mirror finish.